Now to the shootout that injured multiple deputies in Atascacita. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. We just got an update involving the deputy who was shot multiple times. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon joining us now live from the hospital with those new developments and how the other wounded officers are doing at this hour. Roseanne. Yes, we just got an update just a couple of minutes ago where we're told orthopedic surgeons have successfully completed a three hour surgery. The next one is underway and that deputy is expected to have surgeries, multiple ones throughout the day. This is what we know right now. The deputy was flown by medical helicopter to here at Memorial Herman Medical Center. Constable Mark Herman says Gaines was conscious and semi alert even after several pellets were lodged into his bones after being shot multiple times in his his groin and legs. Doctors had to decide if they would remove those pellets. Gaines has been on the force for two years. Now, there were also two other deputies injured. One had a bullet graze his head. He got nine stitches. The other was more minor. They are both expected to be okay. As for Gaines, he is still recovering. He's stable inside and he's in the best hands he can be in. Uh, being here at Herman Hospital, I mean, they did life light him here, which was uh, critical for his uh, care. And uh, but we're going to leave all that in the doctor's hands. Other agencies are now rallying behind Gaines. ATF Houston tweeted our prayers continue for precinct Four constable Chris Gaines and two others. Uh, the the Houston Police Officers Union also tweeted that they are sending their thoughts and prayers and they say the violence against law enforcement needs to stop. Deputies also say the alleged gunman is also in the hospital. At one point he was in a room being treated next to the deputy. He had 22 wounds and is expected to live. That's all we have right now. Roseanne Aragon KPRC. Channel 2 News. Roseanne, thank you. As we mentioned, the deputies and the suspect were all injured during that shootout. The gunfire rattling neighbors right in the middle of the night. Channel 2's Lee Ferlisi is at Saratoga Woods in Bering Bridge Lane, where deputies spent hours investigating. Right across the street here is where gunfire was exchanged that seriously hurt a deputy. Across the street lives a 77 year old woman who is feeling fortunate that she wasn't injured. The inside of her home is riddled with shots. Then I heard glass fell in. Seven to eight shots. Here and here. Now riddle Helena Care's home. They didn't take the bullet out and uh, <coughs> two behind you. Signs of a shootout that came too close for comfort for this 77 year old. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I just, God just got me. I don't know. It all started around 2 a.m. Harris County Constable's deputies from Precinct 4 showed up to a home across the street from Kier. They had received a call that a man in his 20s was suicidal. I kept knocking on the door and no one answered. And then finally they did make contact with the person and he did come out with a weapon. Authorities say the suspect came out of the home and fired off possibly two shots from a shotgun. Two deputies were struck. The deputies returned fire, striking the suspect multiple times. Here's what another neighbor heard. And then my husband was like, no, that's gunshots. Listen a little closer, you hear all this agonizing screaming. Deputy Christopher Gaines, a 25 year old, was seriously injured and taken by life flight to Memorial Herman. Another deputy received nine stitches in his head. It's believed he was hit by a shotgun pellet. A third deputy received minor injuries. As for Kier, who takes heart pressure medication, she's glad she stayed put. I said, my God, this is not firecracker. So I stayed upstairs. We're told that suspect is expected to survive his injuries. He is being charged with four counts of aggravated assault to a peace officer. All four counts are for the four deputies who arrived on scene. In Atascacita, Lee Ferlisi, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And we are expecting another update from investigators this afternoon. We, of course, will bring you those new developments in the investigation on our website, clicktohouston.com, and starting in our afternoon newscasts with First at Four.